going on guys welcome to my channel today I want to give you a, a desk setup tour as a software engineer I want to show you my monitors my apps and basically I feel like it's really important that you have a clean desk and everything that you want to be able to do your job uh, you know the best way possible right and also you want to you want to have a clean desk right so minimal as possible um, that way you don't have you know lots of things around and you know when people come and see you they actually are impressed about the desk that you have so let me actually show you so this is my desk setup and basically I've got two monitors one in uh, portrait mode and the other one in landscape right uh, the reason why I chose this setup is because on that monitor I can have uh, my IDE and then on this one here I can have um, you know my web browser full screen where I can see everything uh, in one in one go right so for example if I'm using git uh, I'm actually using a git library then I, I can go on git and see the source code all in one screen instead of having to scroll uh, up and down so I think it's, it's a really nice setup and a um, few other engineers here in the company also have it like this um, next this, so this is my keyboard so you can see I'm using this uh, Mac keyboard basically it's a very simple um, I'm not into mechanical keyboards um, I just feel like this one is very lightweight you know I'm used to it and then for the mouse so I'm actually uh, used to this one as opposed of if I show you this one right here right so I, I personally feel like this mouse is one of the worst uh, products that Apple has invented specifically when you have to charge it right it's really weird so you can you have to charge it like this and you can't even put it properly um, so if I show you quickly so let me just put this so right here so if I put it like that you can see that this is the way that it's meant to be charging for the whole day and it's just bizarre and also if I you, see, you can see my hands right so my hands are quite big and for me it just doesn't work right so you can see you know it's just an awkward position so I generally don't like this mouse so I use this trackpad so this really works nice for me um, you know the gestures are quite nice um, and you know this is what I've been using for years and I'm, I'm, I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll ever change uh, my, my, my combination of keyboard and mouse um, so what else do I have here so basically so this is my gimbal that I'm actually rec recording I'm actually I'm not using the gimbal uh, because I, f I felt it was easy if I had if I held my camera um, but you can see that's the Ronin SC that's what I have and then I've got a couple of books right here so a couple of books uh, release it and clean code I feel like these are really good books that every software engineer should 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 read once in their in their career because it will teach you a lot of great things um, and then so basically let me actually show you so so this is my personal computer right there and you know a lot of people use actually these these stands so you'll see people um, have stands like that uh, just let me stands like that uh, where they have for example three screens now instead of two you have three right but for me I think two are enough so I just keep this one uh, down there the next thing is pens right so this is really useful because when people come around and ask for questions I can simply you know sketch stuff on a piece of paper because I think because I think that that's the easiest way for people to visualize things to visualize things especially when they're a bit complex and you know it's best if you draw to make sure that they understand uh, what you are explaining about right so as you can see like my main desktop is not on the table right and that's because it's right here so it's right there under my pedestal right so this is connected all the way through this uh, stand so you can see that at the back I've got two headphones so I haven't used this one for a while now uh, and I've got Beats so these are quite old ones but they still uh, do the job uh, quite useful 
and then usually I've got food but not a lot uh, this is just yeah just a bag there um, and yeah and then right here I've got that sticker there Nginx I love stickers and in fact so if I show you in my bag so let me actually see if I've got all the stickers here so basically here yeah so if you if you want stickers just let me know I've got a bunch of these stickers uh, right here so bunch of these stickers so if you want stickers please let me know and I can ship some of these to you um, so let me actually put my password so actually well, <laughs> I forgot one thing so I usually well actually not usually I always have this right because I feel it's very important for me to have my hands uh, you know moisturized especially because I'm 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 African I'm black and I feel like you know I couldn't be one day without Nivea right so this is really important for me as a software engineer fun enough <laughs> um, so yeah so then you can see that the the actual screen saver uh, it's a really cool project so let me just put my password there we go so you can see that so this is this is what I was saying um, actually let me show you the apps first so these are my apps so finder notepad and then Todoist I love Todoist WhatsApp and then Sublime um, I was installing some funds but then terminal right so this is the terminal the black screen that everyone is scared of uh, but this is like guys if you want to become a, an engineer this is something that you should should master right so there's no there's no way that you're gonna be using the finder to find uh, you know files and copying it around you should be using the terminal actually I wasn't typing you should be using this to issue all of your commands right so this is really fast once you get used to it um, then I've got Firefox there and then VS Code this is mainly for stuff such as Terraform or uh, Golang and then I've got Go so this is Goland uh, from JetBrains it's an amazing IDE uh, you know better than VS Code I've just been using it for the last five days right so I'm using the trial just to see whether uh, I'm gonna go for it or not and then you know get a license so my battery is dying let me just quickly switch to a new fresh battery one second we are good so then I've got Photoshop right here and then I've got slack so we use slack quite a lot um, and to be honest like slack is the best application uh, for you know organizations because you know there's so much that you could do with slack especially when it comes to coding right so we have uh, bots that automate lots of things such as releases um, you know checking uh, whether you've tested your your commit that went to to a branch or to master actually it's really really clever uh, we actually integrate uh, slack with uh, our our internal backend systems then for my email client I've got uh, spark right it's really awesome and to be honest that's about it uh, I was actually using Photoshop yesterday so let me show you so I was doing some editing so that's my niece there um, so yeah so and then right here this is Chrome um, I usually use Chrome or Firefox but I'm using actually a dark theme uh, mode so right here uh, can't, what is what was it called so I think it's dark reader yeah dark reader so if I press off you see that it goes um, white right so, so let me zoom in or oh, actually focus there we go so you can see that it goes black it goes <laughs> it goes white uh, but you know if you do lots of coding you don't want to you don't want to mess up with your eyes so you usually have a dark theme uh, throughout the day and then what else do I have oh I also have IntelliJ so so this is usually when I do some back-end stuff uh, not not a lot like these days so I'm actually doing a uh, lot of go lang these days um, but yeah so I've got IntelliJ as well I'm not using the actual community uh, edition uh, 
just because I'm quite good with the keyboard shortcuts and if I want to, for example, the other plugins such as database, this is what I use, the terminal. I use terminal. This is what I use, guys, right? For even for databases, this is what I use. Um, and yeah, so this is all my, and yeah, so this is my actual setup. Um, please let me know what you think about my setup. Um, le let me just check if I've missed something. Oh yeah, so you see, you see right now, so if I wanna log the screen, I've got this plugin where I can just swipe my mouse to the corner. Oops, just like that. And then you can see that I've got this awesome live uh, screensaver, right? So, you know, it's an amazing plugin that I've installed and the name of it is this Arial, um, Yes, I think it's just Arial from John Coat. I'm gonna leave the link of this plugin in the description so you guys can download it. But it's really awesome. Um, you can see that, it's beautiful. Uh, it's very simple to install as well and you can choose between different screen savers that you want. Yeah. So, I think this is it. So if there is anything that you wanna see uh, from my setup, please let me know. Also, as I said, I've got a bunch of stickers right here. So let, let me just show you once more. Maybe you're not believing what I'm saying, but there we go. So just stickers, right? Just stickers. If you guys want some stickers, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel um, and just drop me a message and I'll, I'll, I'll share with you guys. So this is all for now. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, Please like subscribe to my channel because this means a lot to me just to keep on bringing awesome videos like this to you guys to give you that motivation that you need in order to become a software engineer. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, as I said, let me know. If there is any other video that you wanna see from me, comment down below. It's all for now and I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.